Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 39 of Let's Play Terra Enigma, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Well, that was a very strange turn of events we saw in the previous video. Now how am I gonna fix this mess? Let's see what you got for me. What you seek are in a dream. Sand, ice, mountain, and ruins. Okay, safe to say these are the star stones I have to look for. The one in ice I already got in Panginia. The others, like the remaining four, well, dreams, sand, well, dreams you can think of Astarica back in South America, sand would be Sahara Desert, mountain would be Air's Rock, and as for the ruins, I would assume Neo Tokyo, because I mean, that's now our ruins. Oh, this would be a good time to get some rest. I mean, I did get my ass kicked earlier. Ah, uh, so comfortable. The best things in life are free. Even though I spent a buttload of money just to get all this stuff. But it's free now. At least it's a one-time payment. No rent, no mortgage. Yeah! Now, let's go look for those star stones. Remember, I picked up the first one many parts ago. Now we go out to look for the other ones. Well, sand is Sahara Desert, and since we're closest to Africa, that's the one we're gonna go for next. So, we'll be going this way. Okay, that skeleton was not there before. This person must have collapsed. No, really? I thought it died standing up! I hope I don't end that way. Ark! Look at the skeleton's neck! It has something that looks like a necklace. No, no! The stone on the necklace! Don't you recognize it? Oh, hey! Isn't this the stone Liam found at the canyon? He said he's gonna treasure it forever. So why is it here? A human probably snuck into the lion's den. They'll go anywhere if they smell money. And I get the star stone. <coughs> so that's two out of five. Three more to go. Sorry, bud. No time to bury ya. I'll let the sand do its work. Alright, next up is Astarica. So let's head for South America and on the west side, of course. Alright, we're making a lot of progress. I mean, this is the longest of the three Soul Blazer games. Like, Soul Blazer, I was able to finish in what? 20 odd parts? And that was with the 10 minute limit? Illusion of Gaia was like in the mid to late 20s. This one is approaching 40. It's definitely gonna get to 40. Now let's see what this place is all about. A strange voice whispered in Ark's head. Ark! Take the goblet placed on the altar. Ark, as if hypnotized, carried the goblet to his lips. Tastes like crap! What did I just drink? This is Astarica, the holy land that observes the growth of humans. Ark, on awakening, you shall be witness to an odd vision. Depends on your definition of odd. Oh yeah, it's odd. Hey, Lynn! It's you! What are you doing here? How dare you! I am Melia! A priest serving Lord Mela! Perel? Freedom's Perel? I am Pella! A priest serving Lord Mela! 
Go here with Lord Mela wishes to tell you. Where did you get the backwards hat, anyway? A holy ceremony is held yearly as Astarica's custom. At the six goblets on the altar, Night Dune collects over a year. One of them is said to bring the drinker close to the gods. The Chosen drinks one and spends a year without food or drink. Drinking the wrong goblet means death. But if the correct choice is made, a god is born from our tribe. From the last ritual, today is exactly one year. Two priests have gone to inspect, but they have not returned. I would therefore like to ask a skilled warrior like you to go. Uh, this is kind of trippy, but okay, I can do that. Now, what is beyond here? But it looks like I can do some fighting. I see some indents on the wall. What could this mean? Probably has something to do with these statues. So just try pushing them all the way into the indents. I mean, you don't really get any hints towards what you're supposed to do, as far as I know. Like, you're kind of supposed to figure this out on your own. It kind of makes sense, but if you're not one that thinks in a puzzle way, how is one simply supposed to know? But that's what you're supposed to do, so that's what I'm going to do! It is annoying that the statues are positioned all the way in the beginning of the room. But, oh well. Okay, we've seen these spiders before, but they were in a much weaker form. These are dark chakras. They're easy to dispatch. Holy suit! Now, let's see if it's good. Alright, Holy Suit. Defense drops by 8 and changes strength into luck. Also prevents confusion. Nah, it doesn't even seem that good. I mean, confusion is not a serious issue compared to other elements. And Pupila's back. I don't know if this is a completely different pupilla or the same one we saw in the cavern. Wait, there was two? And I got them both! They were like mesh close together. I mean, at least they serve the same purpose. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if these are the exact same ones from the caverns if I'm taking them out on one hit. But maybe I, I, I could be wrong. Come on! Come on! Thank you for dying! I got the magic rock. And that's it? Roy! Unbelievable! You chose the correct goblet? So you were alive! I can see the scene a year ago. I took you, as you will, to the back of the altar. And you became totally alone. You endured that year of solitude and became superhuman! This year was long. It felt like centuries. I spent every day in fear that the candle of life will be snuffed. But I never died. When I became like this, I understood the true significance of God. Humans are pathetic creatures. Driven by desires and living in misery. A ritual this stupid is only for gaining power over, their, over other tribes. I've had enough of people. If they all disappeared, it will be peaceful. What? What are you doing? I'm 
going to make you a god! A god of death! Ellie, stop! What is wrong with a life that never ends? Phyla, stop it! It's pointless to say anything now. It's not possible to understand. But before I leave this world, I'll show you a human quality. An emotion called love that no other living thing has. Oh, Roy! Oh, the rubber noses against each other. Phyla, I love you. When we were born, we'll be joined again. Well, that was very, very romantic and unusual at the same time. Did you come seeking an immortal body? Humans are all the same. For an instant, your face looked like a demon's. A person is said to have two faces. The external and internal selves. Maybe that sacred goblet's water just awakens the internal soul. Then why don't you try it yourself? The goblet behind you is filled to the brim. <laughs> um, this one? That tastes like crap too. Ha <laughs> ha! The end of human life is trite. Man, I'm laying off the dream hooch forever. Phew, strange dream. And that's it. But I got the star stone. That was kind of the strangest thing I ever saw in this game so far. And I saw talking penguins. Well, they didn't talk. They like flowers and they get pissed if you eat their fish. And then again, the whole mayhem in Baruga's lab. But that's a completely different matter. So now that's three star stones. The fourth is on the way to Ayers Rock. Which is where I'm going to go. Hello there, New Zealand! My Aussie accent sucks! Why'd I go that way? This is where I need to go, right here. Climb to the top. Man, there's someone there! I am a scientist. This place is the least polluted when Earth is endangered, like now. I intend to witness the world's end here. Did you listen to me? Okay, even though you're crazy. A certain race revered this grand view and vast nature as God. But today, modern societies make a racket about preserving nature. When did humans become so big to think they can protect gods? Perhaps the beginning of the end started there. I thought those things. I thought all the while I watched this beautiful world. I gradually became aware of a voice calling my name from somewhere. An older boy will appear bearing a rod. The voice said to give the boy my star stone. The voice seemed to emanate from the very earth. Take this stone. I've always had it with me since I was a child. A very strange dream, but hey, I can live with that because it benefits me in every way. Now give me all your money. I'm sure your god said that too. Sadly, his god did not say that. Who knows, he probably didn't have any money to his name. Anyways, now we should head for Neo Tokyo. Which sadly is abandoned. Who knows, I might be able to find some human life. Something must have survived. Either way, we gotta go in. Jeez, it's so bright. 
It's like the sun is just inches from the police station. Huh? What? What is that sound? Sounds like it's coming from that desk in the corner. Looks like there's a transceiver in the drawer. How does Ark know what a transceiver is? Well, looks like he's learned a lot about technology already. A girl's voice can be faintly heard. Help! Someone help! There's someone alive! There's a survivor here! Come help! Daddy! Mommy! Can you hear me? Where are you? Come help! That girl doesn't sound like she knows how to operate the unit! She's probably got the talk button pressed the whole time! Hey! Release the button! Quiet! Do you hear that sound behind her voice? Help! Isn't anybody there? Hear it? The sound of flowing water! There's no river in this town, so that means... The sewers, most likely! There has to be a way underground! That's right, we tried going to the sewers before, but it was locked. I wonder if it's open now. Either way, we had to go in if we need to progress. Huh? I'm certain this door was locked before. So it is open! Alright, I'm gonna stop the video here. Next part, we're going sewer shredding. See ya!